Hey, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Tylord, and I am finally back with more Let's Play World of Warcraft Cataclysm. This is episode 7, I believe, and we are back here in the Red Ridge Mountains, just outside of Lakeshire. We have a couple quests to start off this episode, and we should be hitting level 17 pretty shortly, right off the bat, I would say. Let me, let me try and get a Drain Soul in there. Nope, no Drain Soul for me. Uh, we are about 4% away, uh, maybe like 2 kills, two, two, probably like 2 kills, not, even, not 1 kill, 1 or 2 kills, probably like 2 kills away from level 17, and we'll get another talent point. Um, you guys will eventually notice some things about my character that happen off screen, and you might be thinking to yourself, well, I mean, it's a little dicey. I don't know why I want to use both hands to, to emote. It's like, it's a little dicey, it's a little shaky. So, one of the things... Oh, what is this? Oh, Dirt Stained Scroll. You've stumbled upon... He who controls the ends. You've stumbled upon an old doc document. The old that wrote this propaganda is semi-literate. Brothers of Yowler, hear Dirt Paw. Dirt Paw given orb from orcs. Dirt Paw control etting things. Dirt Paw crush humans. Come get Dirt Paw Pawograph in Rethban Cave. Kill Ardo Dirt Paw. So we need to go to the Rethban Cave now. And go kill... I don't know why my pet's not on assist. Go kill Dirt Paw in the Rethband Cave. Now, the Rethband Cave, of course, infamous for the old warrior quest. I think it used to be a warrior quest. Uh, a timed quest called uh, the Rethband Gauntlet, which I did on uh, my Night Elf, my old Night Elf warrior. That was back on, uh, damn, was that Nostalrius days? Whew, trip down memory lane. So what I was getting at right before I started killing more and more gnolls and I got carried away in my... My train of thought just likes to drift away. Um, you'll notice things about my character eventually that happen off screen. And there it is, ding, level 17, let's go. So one of the things I think I mentioned earlier, I wanted to try and play this character as if it was like a fresh tune almost. Uh, on like, I was playing like Cataclysm WoW for the very first time. It's a fresh tune and I'm, tr I'm trying. I modded my XP back to... To level one so i'm getting one times experience gains uh i haven't given myself any sort of heirlooms and i haven't given myself gold directly but i did give myself four thick hide packs because on my main i do have the <laughs> traveler's tundra Mam mammoth the yeah the tundra traveler's mammoth no the traveler's tundra mammoth you're traveling through a tundra on a mammoth I did give myself four of those bags, and aside from that, <laughs> all this gold you see? Okay, so I have not, I promise, I pinky pro I swear, Scout's Honor, I did not give myself gold. Where I got the majority of this gold was from selling all of the old herbalism materials that I had gathered myself. And also, I ran into Lil Timmy in Stormwind. And Lil Timmy, if you guys don't know who Lil Timmy is, um, I'm not sure if I should do this quest now or if I should come back and do it later. I guess we'll just do it now. Let's just go into the cave and kill, kill Ardo Dirtpaw. If you don't know who Lil Timmy is, he's a little shithead boy that runs around. Well, he's not really a shithead. I shouldn't call him that. He runs around Stormwind, selling a white kitten, but he only sells one, on like a two-hour timer. Maybe we should come back because I feel like Blackrock overseers. I feel like we're gonna have a quest to kill Blackrock orcs and we don't have that quest quite yet so let's come back let's come back for sure we'll come back and do the Wrath Band cave in a little bit there's real oh man the problem with this quest is there's like really only one or two crates for every one or two red ridge gnolls and so you're going to be ending up killing more gnolls than crates and that's annoying anyway i digress i found little timmy on my uh worgen warlock and I bought the white kitten because he had it in stock. And I said, OMG, I need this on my main. Uh-oh, there's a an elite canyon Eton. Should we try and kill this guy? Let's try and kill this guy. I don't know if we're going to be able to. But I will certainly try. Oh, God. We, oh, oh, we triggered the, the mystic. This is not going to go well. You know what's going to happen? He's going to run away. Uh-oh. I don't have a soul stone, do I? Bro, what? Am I actually going to die? Why? 
Why can't I not have my pet taunt? Jesus. Jeez Louise. Alright, we recovered. We recovered. We're okay. We're okay. I got too much aggro. This is not going to go well. Oh god, another mystic spawned right on top of me. Now we got this. Sheesh. Okay. Sorry, I had, to, I had to really concentrate there. I did not want to die. So I bought the white cat, um, the white kitten carrier. This story is taking way too long to tell. I, I, I might have an undiagnosed. I'm self-diagnosing right now. I might have a, a little undiagnosed case of uh, ADHD or something because I cannot pay attention long enough to tell one simple story. I bought the white kitten carrier. And before I continue the story, let's turn in this quest. Canyon Rob. Let's turn in all the Red Ridge uh, Null Colors and get a nice chunk of experience. Recover the Black Orc, Black Rock Orc Missive, which is in the cavern. I knew it. I knew it. I'm so smart. Uh, I tried to... I put it up on the auction house. And I tried to buy it on my main, Tune. But apparently, that is not a thing you can do on the server. And I was really peeved. I was, I was, I was peeved. I was pet peeved at the server that you cannot buy on on a horde character or vice versa. I'm assuming you can't buy items on the auction house that you put up on a on a different faction's tune. So like my main is a is a horde is an undead hunter. I tried to buy a thing I put up for sale on this alliance warlock this worgen and I couldn't. It said you cannot buy things from my pet's gonna die. I'm just gonna let my pet attack while I yoink all these supply crates and then I will let my pet die sorry pet I love you but you're gonna die right now I kinda wanna turn this quest in first to see if if we get a follow up to it let's let's run over there and do that real quick and then I'll just cut away so we don't spend the whole episode running back and forth between Lake Shear and uh, the Rethbane Cavern and what I can do now is just summon them back up like that and, and we're fine everything's fine we're fine so you can't buy items on the auction house between between tunes from different factions on the same account so I had to make it was a whole thing I had to make a new account to get all the all the alliance pets because I didn't want to spend 250 gold per pet so long story short really long story really really long story short um, I sold the white kitten carrier for like 150 gold or something like that. It was like an insane amount. And someone else bought it. So I'm like, you know what? That's fine. I'll just have all that money. I'm assuming it was obviously a horde tune that had bought it. Because why would an alliance character... You can find little Timmy and buy it for like 50 silver. You cannot buy it as a horde tune. The only way you can get it is now is either having an alliance tune on a separate account or... Now you can buy things from the opposing faction on the auction house. So, long story short, that's how I made most of my gold. <laughs> but then I did have my thick hide packs. I sent that via a third party, aka myself, on another account. I did send myself some some thick hide packs because uh, they're really cheap when you buy them off the uh, Traveler's Tundra Mammoth. So I'm going to cut away. I'll meet you guys further into the Rethban Cave where we can get this quest done. I will not fight any more of these dirty, stinking gnolls. All right, we're here in the Rethband Caverns, and I, I just want to start off by saying, uh, since I cut away, if the music does sound a little bit louder and if it's like become too loud, let me know because I, I did pump up the music volume just a little bit. Let me put my put my wand on my main action bar there so I can click it easier. And there we go. The first orc we encountered dropped the missive, and we can. Turn in the quest. They've wised up. What have you found out? Blackrock Orc Missive. The Gnome Quarter buzzes and whirs. Just put the missive in the little compartment and I'll read it. Yeah, that that's definitely how that works. It looks like the orcs are here under direct command of Yaller. That means Yaller must have the orc invasion plans. So now we have to go kill Yaller and get the orc invasion plans. And he's over there in the canyons. But before we do that, we have to fight our way through the caverns to go kill Ardo Dirtpaw. And for the sake of saving time... I think I'll fight through the cave, uh, mostly off screen, so I'll cut away again until we get to Ardo Dirt Pop because I really don't have a whole lot of else, much of else to say, a whole lot of much of else, much to do about nothing. Okay, I just had a little stroke there. Um, I don't really have 
much else to say. So I'll cut away. See, see you there. See you later. Further into the caverns. Jeez Louise, man. Alrighty, we're back. I was dangerously close to aggroing Ardo Dirt Paw because you can see here a, a mob, a stray mob that we were killing, started to run away at low health, and he ran up the, the side of the cliff, <laughs> and it looked ridiculous. But uh, luckily for us, he did not aggro Ardo, so we can come up here and kill him ourselves. And he's running away in fear. And we have to turn the quest in here at the Etten control orb that is located next to Ardo at the back of the cave. The orb hisses as you touch it. <sighs> so now we get a follow-up. Saving Foreman Oslo. You remove the orb from the pedestal. You now control the orb, therefore you now control the Ettens. Maybe you can use an end to remove the huge boulder currently crushing Foreman Oslo. Is that what that huge boulder is doing just outside of Lakeshire? Oh my god, all the mobs respawned already. Well, this is going to be fun. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Okay, well we're here. Uh, I'm not going to take I'm not going to take res sickness. That's ridiculous. Okay. Um Damn, those mobs literally, I just killed those mobs. And they all respawn that quickly. I'll meet you guys back in my body. Oh, I feel so dejected. I think that's the first time I've died on this, uh, on screen anyway. <laughs> oh well. Alrighty, we're back. And the first thing I want to do, first things first, is try and get through the Red Ridge Canyons and get back to Yowler by killing his as few mobs as possible. We're gonna try and, I don't even know if you would call it speedrunning, but we're gonna try and speedrun Yowler here because I don't wanna fight any more mobs than I have to, even though it's obviously a good way to get experience and to level up. But I'd, I prefer killing as few mobs as possible, just getting my experience through questing because questing does give us um, a very good chunk of experience itself. We're probably gonna aggro at least one of these bashers, hopefully not both. I'm gonna try and run up here. Nope, we did get both. Very cool. Very cool game. I, I, I appreciate you. Thank you. I love you for that. Very cool. What I should probably do that I'm not doing currently is not have suffering on always and just like keep buying... I don't know if I'll keybind suffering, because I don't know if I'll use my Void Walker um, all the time, or like say at level 20 I could start using the Succubus until level 30, until I get the Fell Hunter, and then use Fell Hunter until, well, the, I can't use Summon Doom Guard or Inferno all the time, but I think they have a 10 minute cooldown. I can use them on their cooldowns anyway. So, I'll, uh, yeah, I, I'm just going to turn off suffering for now so what suffering does is it's basically um, a pet's taunt ability other than torment torment is like torment's his main damage dealing ability all right maybe i should have it on because <laughs> apparently i deal too much damage uh otherwise so here's yowler's den and they've definitely changed yowler's den in the whole red ridge canyons in cataclysm it's very different than it used to be a uh, pre cata all the way through, I guess, even Wrath of the Lich King. Basically, Yowler would... I don't know if he would, if he was static or if he patrolled through multiple camps. But this whole entire area back here at the Red Ridge Canyons. Um, there would be little camps. There would be a little camp here. A little camp here. There would be one or two mobs up here. There's another little camp over here. No matter where you looked, Yowler was constantly flanked by about three or four other... Red Ridge Null mobs, and it was always such a pain. If you were able to get in there and kill Yowler, and like before you died, I mean that was well, you had to loot him for his paw, right? You had to get Yowler's paw. I'm pretty sure that was considered a successful, <laughs> a successful quest. So there's a Canyonette now. Um, we killed Yowler. So the only thing was there's two objectives for this quest, and we did them both. We killed Yowler. We have slain him, and then he dropped the. Black Rock invasion plan, so we have both of those things. So here's the Canyon Etten. We need to subdue and control a Canyon Etten, which we will do. And then... Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen if I have my pet, so I kind of want to dismiss my pet. I can't even see my pet. Hold on here. 
Now, of course, another mob spawns. All right, let's kill the basher real quick. And if my pet dies, my pet dies. Um, I kind of want to dismiss my pet so that I can use this little orb on the canyon netting. And now he's my pet. And I dismissed my pest. My <laughs> I dismissed my pest. Yes, my void walker is a pest. I dismissed my pet first before using the control orb because I wasn't sure if the game treated this canyon etten as a summoned pet under my control, which some quests do. And I've learned do, questing through on my main and my hunter, who uses summoned and controlled pets. Um, Doing the lore master achievement, doing every single quest in the game on the horde side anyway, not to brag or nothing. Um, but there were a lot of quests where it kind of wouldn't... Yeah, see, I don't know what's happening here. I should... You should get the boulder. There it is. Oh my god! Rock not so heavy. Puny humans. Foreman Oslo, he's saved! Where throw? Where tro? Tro on bridge? No, no! Tro on yourself. Okay, me tro in water. Godspeed, Etten. I'm gonna follow him. Sheesh! Oh, it disappeared. It despawned. Bye bye, daddy. Is he gonna leave me now? Are you gonna leave? Adios. Etten. I. They grow up so fast. I was gonna say, I barely knew ye. That's also true. I don't know where he's going. So, anyway, the whole point of me dismissing my pet was because um, there were a few. Who do I. I turn both these into Magistrate Solomon? I guess I do. Uh, there are a few p quests that didn't work initially because I had my pet, my summon pet, my pet summon. My pet was active as a hunter. And uh, once I dismissed the pet and I tried using, you know, whatever item again, it would work the second time when I didn't have my pet under my control. So I was just wondering if it turned the Etten into a controlled pet or not. But it didn't. So I guess we know that f for the future if I level up any more alliance on this server, which I'm not sure I'll do. I'm not sure. So... Sword of the Falling Sky. That's a pretty cool name. It's a freaking die katana. Isn't that cool? Wow, very cool. Uh, I guess I'll pick it because, as you know, I like to pick the most expensive stuff to sell back to vendors if I can't use it because that's a sword, one-handed sword, which warlocks can technically use swords. I mean, they can use one-handed swords, but it's not a spellcaster sword, so we're not going to use it. And you know what's funny? Yowler must die. Even doing this quest and getting the the reward for it i found the ritual leggings of the owl which are i would say in my opinion better than the escalation bridges that we get from this quest reward so we're just going to take the mail like uh the mail leggings and call it a day magistrate solomon takes the plans from you and begins reading shadowhide army damn those orcs to hell these invasion plans speak of a massive buildup of orcish and null forces in the east looks like gathelzog the Black Rock General is preparing to march his armies across Lakeshire and attack Stormwind directly. We're finished. I might as well call for an evacuation now and clear out Lakeshire before the Orcs march. You coward. And right when we finally finish building that damned bridge, bridge, I cannot speak today. Damned bridge. What hope could there possibly be? C U N T. What hope, Colonel? What could possibly save us from the impending assault? He served five, whoa, 240 emissions, captured five years ago by a battalion of filthy pigs. <laughs> filthy pigs hugging black rock orcs, tortured and kept alive as a urinal for young orc warriors for five years. John J. Keishin. Who? Keishin's alive? I thought he died. He's been used as a urinal? He's alive, all right, and been living like an outcast in Lakeshire for the past five months, or hadn't you noticed? Now enough chatter, we've got people to save. I totally missed part of the dialogue because I was... Did not know that this guy spawns in here. Colonel Trotman. Enlist the help of John J. Keishan at Lakeshire Inn in Lakeshire. Yes, sir. We will go there right now. I've never heard of this command in my life. And I've quested through Lakeshire plenty of times. They just added this mob in Cataclysm. You can't fool me, Blizzard. You hear me? You can't fool me. Oh, one thing I want to test... And I wonder if they've, if it's active, they've implemented it. 
Um, so I mentioned this at the beginning of, it might have not have been last episode, but the episode before, I was talking about how this server uh, was going to implement some changes to help with the faction imbalance. They were trying to make uh, playing as an alliance more appealing, so they upped honor gains, uh, repu well, honor is reputation, reputation gains, um, profession gains, honor point gains, just some point gains, by two times basically for alliance. Um, so I actually want to see if, if they did that because I do need to level up my first aid a little bit. And once I do get a skill up, it should be two. It is two instead of just one. So now we're at 80 and we can go ahead and learn. Whoa, John J. Keisha. Dude, there's a fight club at the bottom of Lakeshire Inn. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I did not know there was a fight club here. Can I sit? Can I sit and watch? And so I shall. Kill him, big girl. Kill this pathetic human named John J. Keishin. Help you? Help these people? These people would rather spit on me than crack a smile? This ain't my war. They asked me to fight in those wars, so I didn't ask them. I did what I had to do to win, so I ended up getting captured. So I ended up getting captured by those filthy creps willing maggot orcs, and for five long years they used me as a toilet. Finally I break out and head back to my hometown. What do I get? People spitting on me protesting me, calling me a baby or killer, and all kinds of vile crap. No, I don't think I'll be helping you. You go back to Tropman and you tell him that this ain't my war. Based. Based. I love I love John J. Christian. He's my kind of man. I do know I am thinking of someone else. I have someone else in mind that would... I love... <laughs> he would absolutely love all these derogatory comments being spewed at orcs. Spewn? Sp Spoon? 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 No, spoon, right? God, I can't. Uh, my brain's my brain's on like not full capacity today. Um, all right, let's go ahead and return this. These these quests are so funny. Tropman size. <sighs> I'm not giving up on him, C U N T, and I'm not giving up on Red Ridge. We need to boost his spirits. Rouse the slumbering monster within him. Weapons of War, we need to recover Cretion's Bone, Cretion's Survival Knife. And in search of Bravo Company, search Alther's Mill for a member of the Bravo Company. Alright, I think I will do just that. Whoa, we've got even more quests opened up from Foreman Oslo and Marshall Maris. Let's see what we have to do from these guys. Surveying equipment. Ah, my savior! I've heard that you're on a mission to save Lakeshire and my bridge. Yep, worked too damn long, too damn hard and too damn long on that thing to get it destroyed by an army of marauding orc monsters. So he wants uh, five black rock spyglasses and Marshal Maris says, uh, has a quest. Render's army heading up north, eh? How about you wage your own little war against those black rock monsters? Kill any 25 black rock orcs? Sheesh, that is, that's insane. That's a crazy amount of black rock orcs. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. To try and keep this episode length as low, like, uh, towards the lower end. I think anything, I, I always say this, I want to keep it around 20 minutes, anything more than that. I don't think, it's not that people don't have the attention span for it. I just think, in this day and age, consuming online media has changed. Uh, it's definitely not how it was, um, I mean, with Twitch and YouTube now live streaming. It's definitely changed. In the past, people could sit there and watch. 20 30 minute long let's plays but now nowadays it's like who would want to watch a let's play of an old ass version of a video game that's a dead game now and in, in essence essentially um or dying at the very least when they could just watch live streams and you know be be with the streamer <laughs> live watching them play live commenting live being there and it's almost like you're there in person although not really so what I'll do now is kill this mob, which you just watched, and ding, hit level 18. Um, and now I'm going to hearth back to Stormwind off screen. I'm going to end off the episode here. And next episode, we will continue the quest chain for John J. Keishin. We need to enlist the help of John J. Keishin, and we will do all that. But for now, I'm going to end off this episode. I'm going to run and find a, what the hell, a warlock trainer. And we will learn up some new abilities. Uh, create Soulstone. You just saw them flash at the top of the screen there when I did level up. Um, 
Curse of Weakness and Unending Breath, I should have learned at 16, but they're both kind of useless abilities, so I didn't want to waste the money on them. So we will learn Crate Soul Stone, Rain of Fire, and Steering Pain, all of which are very good and cool abilities I will be using uh, from here on out once I learn them. So I will, I will call it a day now. And thank everybody for watching. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this uh, video wasn't too boring to watch. hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. And until next time, as always, I hope you all stay classy and peace out.